What Jimmy didn't know was that Ralph was sick, a sickness that was not visible like smallpox, but no less dangerous and contagious, a sickness of the mind. You see, Ralph was a homosexual. When someone says wedding or marriage, I'm not sure that any the first image that pops into mind is, you know, woman and man. I mean, that's not just what comes to mind. It's the it's the emotion of the day. It's the flowers. It's the family. It's you know, grandma crying, and all those things are still there regardless of the gender of the people involved. Marriage, in my opinion, are simply two people that are in love. Two people who love each other, whether they're male male, female female male, female, if you love each other, I feel you have the right to get married. I believe that it's the union of a, a man and woman. Two people that come together uh, as a man, as a woman, um, they complement each other. Um, they come together because of this deep love that they have for each other. Definition of marriage can't be just rewritten. That word has had a, a definition for thousands of years. Welcome to the wedding ceremony. So marriage has changed. Um, you know, for a lot of history, especially when we were more of a kind of peasant feudal economy, marriage was much more of a property exchange. You had the dowry exchange for the bride and, you know, maybe a couple acres in the farm here or the, the marriages of convenience, you know, whether it's the royal marriages or whether it's even just, hey, two farms, if we just, our kids get married, we just merge it all and we'll all do better. A controversial event because the wedding involved two men and two women joined together as same-sex couples. Kevin Barassa and Joe Barnell. Legal battle paved the way for same-sex marriage to be legalized. You know, marriage is an intensely personal experience. At its heart, it's a personal issue and it's about the personal choices of a couple to get married or not to get married as they choose, but there has to be that choice. Back in our day, You're a veteran, Vietnam veteran. Being gay was not a subject to discuss. I believe marriage is between a man and a woman. So you, you told me that uh, I'm not entitled to constitutional rights. Government, religion, any of that can't stick their nose in some individual's liberty. Purpose is to image God. So religion is what man has created. Faith is very different. Faith is based on divine law and what God has given us. And I think people very clearly understand when they have faith what that means. The church gives guidelines and a foundation by which to live. One of the discussions that happens nowadays is about same-sex marriage, but it's almost a contradiction in terms. Because there is that one element that is missing, that one sacramental part of, of, of what God has given us in terms of sharing in, 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 in the gift of creation, I think that's how that relationship uh, cannot be defined as a marriage. You know what's wrong with gay marriages? Mm. The same things that are wrong with straight ones. With two 
people are recognized in a civil union and they are afforded all of the rights uh, that a married couple, man and woman, are, are afforded, then I guess it's, is it, isn't it satisfactory for them? Maybe not. The difference between a civil union and marriage are the number of legal benefits, tax relief, medical decisions, gifts, death benefits, child spousal support, and immigration rights. The civil union uh, gives you that much of your civil uh, rights. Why uh, did someone want to sit in the front of the bus and not in the back? It, uh, you get to your destination just as quickly. The seats are probably just as comfortable. Why isn't it fine sitting in the back? And the simple answer is dignity, human dignity. I would need to see the quote from, from Pope Benedict because he, he uses often technical language. The Pope is generating hatred uh, rather than faith in, in making statements like that. And I see the Catholic Church as being very hypocritical because here's a group that is against same-sex marriage, they're against gay and lesbians, but yet this is a group that's been harboring pedophiles for decades. We're all entitled to have our opinion. Religion hates, hates gays. That's, that's not true. There are so many faith groups, and they're increasing in numbers, who support uh, human rights for all. In another 20 years, you know, it, within living memory, it's going to be as unthinkable to deny marriage equality as it would be to put a separate black and white drinking fountain in the park across the street tomorrow. My religious belief can't get in the way of of being loving, kind, merciful, compassionate to a person, even if we totally disagree. When you point a finger, all of them are pointing at yourself. I think that if there was one definition that everyone could agree on, that I think that for us, marriage today is, uh, what did she say? Simply the act of making public what's already written in two people's hearts.